بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم now for simulating the pc what i'll do is we inside the gns3 will be using a vmware so if i go back to my vmware there is a pc1 which is installed now you know uh, basically i expect you to know how you can uh, simulate the pc inside the vm it's more like the same you need to go to file and import the windows image into that which makes uh, these things to work now this pc1 will be acting will be used for my management purpose so i need to connect this pc inside my uh, for my for the management because here i'll be using the pc so the first thing we need to check is go back to the settings and verify what is the network adapter which is being used because you need to use multiple uh, vm net interfaces which will be logically connecting your network like here you can see there are these are the actual physical interfaces what i have and these are all my vm net interfaces the logical vm interfaces now adding those vm interfaces is very simple you just need to go to the uh, go to the vm and i think edit and virtual network uh, editor from there you can add any number of interfaces you can see click on add network and you can add any number of interfaces so these are logical interfaces which can be used to virtually connect uh, to any network now make sure that whatever the network interface you are using for this pc here so the same logical interface i have to use now you can see here i'm using vmnet3 so i need to make sure that this vmnet3 interface is being used here so what i'll do i'll drag and drop the cloud which is going to be a normal cloud but if you go back and make changes here i'm going to remove any interfaces now here we need to select this vmnet3 cloud now this cloud is a virtual having a virtual interface with vmnet3 and then i'm going to connect this vmnet3 interface to my switch i still need a switch of course this cloud represents my pc1 i can rename this one and because these three are in the same subnet or the same network so i need something to connect intermediate now to connect intermediate either you can use a normal a switch that is one option or what i'll do is i'll again use this router with a module so you can go ahead and configure and change the name and image you don't need but the slots you have to use here so 16 esw slot now this slot represents a switch slot so it's basically a switch slot here so which means we are we are trying to connect here in this case you have to use this f1 f1 slot you can see 0 to 15 these are my switch slots don't connect them to the 0 by 0 or 0 by 1 these are routing slots or you can use an iou switch but that's again utilizes more cpu or you can use this virtual switch as well or just you don't want any kind of issues you can still run this uh, the switch or a hub which is more like unmanageable switch you cannot manage but i want to do some management by creating some vlans and few testing that's the reason i'm using either iwas switch or iwu switch so iwas i'm preferring here just to minimize the cpu resources so i'm connecting port number 1 on this side likewise we are going to connect uh, port number 2 here and likewise port number 3 to the pc which is vmnet3 interface and likewise i'm going to connect this g0 by 1 interface which is my gateway interface 4 and also i'm going to connect management interface the same because uh, if you remember i said i'm going to use a management interface as well in the same network means management and lan both in the same so like this i can i can connect all now this is my connection and now i can go ahead and start this devices and verify the reachability so the first thing will quickly set up the switch part so let's quickly console this switch 
Now in this switch, anyway, they all are in the same VLAN. So I don't need to create. So, but I'll be creating a VLAN 100. Now here you need to do it differently, a little bit different in the IVO, in this GNS3 only, a VLAN 100, this is how you create inside the VLAN database. And you have to say exit to make sure that you create those VLANs. And then you can go ahead and define the interface like F1 by one, two, let's say 10, all the ports. I just want them to be in the same, same VLAN. So the same VLAN is going to be my VLAN 100. Now this will ensure that all the ports connecting here, they all are in the same VLAN. And I can go ahead and say VLAN hyphen switch. Now hyphen, this is a command you use here, but in the physical real switches, you just say show VLAN or show VLAN brief, that will be sufficient. And there is one more additional thing I'm going to do. I'm going to assign the IP address to the VLAN also. So 192.168.1.11. So the 11 will be the IP of the switch. 10 will be the IP address of my gateway. And likewise, the IP addresses here uh, will be a little bit something like this. So 11 here and dot 44 on my FTD and dot 10 on my gateway. So two IPs will be present on, on the FTD because one for the management so this is the management and this is the actual gateway which routes the traffic. And then dot one here, dot 45 here, and then dot five here. So this is something we did. Uh, likewise, we can go ahead and uh, do the configurations on the other devices as well, like on the router one. On the router one also, we can go ahead and configure some IP addresses. So the router one configurations, I'll, I'll come back again. Meantime, we'll, we'll do the connectivity part. So we'll finish up the topology part here, like two interface going to router two, F0 by zero, a G0 by three interface, F0 by zero, and G0 by four. So we need to configure all these four interfaces if you want the FTD to work. And that's what we do inside the GUI. Now, this is my topology. Now we need to just simply uh, start the devices and we can go ahead and do the things. Like uh, one more thing, if you just wanted to check the VM interface here, anyway, this, this connect will, anyway, will when we do the verifications, we'll test the reachability. But here you can see this uh, interface, it has two connections. One interface goes to the actual internet you also have an internet connection here directly, this interface. And the other interface is the interface which is which is being used, the VMNet3 interface. So you can see the IP address I have already given 1.5 and the gateway is 1.10, that is my FTD. And the DNS server will be 15.1, which is my wireless router from where you can route the traffic. And I don't need this interface, so I can disable the other interface uh, which is connecting to the real internet. Now this is uh, basically possible when you have these two options. So this is the actual interface which connects into the my GNS3 topology. And this bridge one is the one which connects to my physical network from where I can access internet for this particular VM network. Now these are the settings you need to pro do if you want these things to work here.